Hi everyone, Gillian here, and this is a Canva 2.0 tutorial. Uh, it's going to take me a bit of time to update the beginners course. So I've decided to do some small tutorials that will just show you some of the new features in Canva 2.0 while I'm getting the beginners course updated. Now today I want to show you a really great little feature and it involves naming each page within your design in Canva 2.0. Now when I first saw this and shout out to Will Campen who mentioned this to me and loved the feature but we were debating what the benefit was and very very soon after that I discovered the benefit. Now let me just show you I've opened up an Instagram design here in Canva 2.0 so if you take a look at the top of each page you'll see a little drop down menu that has page one and then if you click on the drop down menu you'll see your options there. Now this was one of the features I wasn't as keen on in Canva 2.0 because they've moved the changes the menu changes from this side point here over into a drop down menu personally i was a bit disappointed with that because it adds one extra step in duplicating pages moving pages things like that but i'll learn to live with it it's a small change what they have added here is the option to rename the page so i'm going to just do that and i'll add this in and say ocean great click it off now you can see it's page one ocean and i'm going to go through and do that for each of these pages I'll call this one spring and I put three in here so the final one will be bike. Now the obvious question is it's nice but what is the benefit? Well I did discover a benefit yesterday that I thought was actually really cool. Now often when we create these multi-page designs we only need one or two of them when we download. So when we come over here to the top right hand corner to the download button and now when you have a look at it so it says select pages and I don't want to select all of the pages let's say I just want to download page three. Now sometimes when it's a multi-page design remembering which page you want to design can be a pain. So now when I click on this you'll actually see that not only do I get a little thumbnail of the design but because I've named each one I can actually see really quickly and easily without having to rely on the thumbnail which one I want to download. So remember I said I wanted to download page three which is bike. I just click on that and click done and now I can just download that. It's a quite a great little feature it is such a simple thing but I do actually often do this where I download a single page and particularly when every page is looking the same as in when I've done a template with the background design and just changed the wording on it it gives me the ability to add a page name that makes it more descriptive so I don't have to rely on what it looks like to figure out which one I want to download Anyway, I hope you like that tip. Hi to Jessica. Great to see you there. And yes, I do have my voice back. I've had a few nights sleep now and recovered from the jet lag. Anyway, I hope this tip is helpful. I'm going to continue adding on some little tutorials for you each day just to help you learn some of the new features in Canva 2.0. Thanks for that and I'll talk to you soon.